Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reading an SCP called 2254. This SCP was, was suggested by Gundam 2018B. Thank you Gundam for the suggestion. I appreciate it greatly. Make sure to check out Gundam's channel. I'll be putting a link in the description below. And anybody else, if you have any suggestions you would like me to read on my channel, let me know in the comments down below any creepypasta and SCP SCPs. And I will be giving a shout out in the next video. So again, thank you Gundam for the suggestion. I highly appreciate it. Right before I start, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Helps out a lot. And let's get right into it. SCP-2254 is contained within the town of Fallon, Alabama. While SCP-2254's incorporeal nature has made it difficult to house in any long-term containment vessel, SCP-2254's isolation within Fallon has been deemed an acceptable amount of exposure in exchange for sustained containment of the entity. Foundation agents embedded within local law enforcement are to identify anomalous pregnancies that result from involvement by SCP-2254 and introduce acceptable level above Mifriston and Prodaglandin into the affected subject's drinking water in order to induce miscarriages. Due to this protocol, the rate of SCP-22541 manifestation has significantly decreased since SCP-2254's discovery. The continued implementations of the Black Tuesday protocol is imperative to the ongoing containment of SCP-2254. Update Containment Memorandum Pre-Foundation Protocol 2513.99 The ongoing containment of SCP-2254 has been transferred to the jurisdiction of Project Paragon. All other extent containment procedures remain in place. SCP-2254 is a hostile, massive, incorporeal entity contained within the town of Fallon, Alabama. SCP-2254 is invisible to the naked eye and can only be viewed using infrared cameras. SCP-2254 form is that of a widely distorted humanoid, roughly 12.8 meters in height, with extremely distended arms and legs, a misshaped neck and face, thick shoulder length hair and severely disfigured genitals. SCP-2254's skin is dark and molted, and aside from six eyes arranged in two vertical columns of three per side, SCP-2254's face is otherwise featureless, lacking a nose or mouth. SCP-2254's single other defining characteristics is the pictogram of the letter J above a heart that seems to have been branded into its forehead. SCP-2254 is seemingly capable of influencing human decision making by altering cognition, cognition and manipulating young humans, typically under the age of 20, into copulation who would not otherwise be driven to do so. This manifests as a reported dream state, wherein affected individuals are brought together semi-unconsciously to perform sexual intercourse while in a state of elevated suggestiveness and arousal. These unions will generally always end in insemination, though SCP-2254's influence can be distributed by the application of large matter agents such as tear gas or ammonia inhalants. Subjects brought out of SCP-2254's inf influence during the act of copulation usually express some confusion and hostility towards the source of the disturbance which abrades over time. Affected subjects will also not express any kind of regret about the sexual union in question, though whether this is also the nature of SCP-2254's influence is currently unknown. SCP-2254 generally manifests at the Little Rock Canyon Falls near Fallon. SCP-2254 generally manifests at the Little Rock Canyon Falls near Fallon, though not in any regular pattern. It is believed that SCP-2254 
2254 is more likely to manifest on nights where there are more age-appropriate targets freely available to interact with each other sexually, though this has not been confirmed. After manifestations, SCP-2254 will stalk towards any gathering of targets, potentially persuading targets in its path to move towards other targets in an attempt to influence more subjects to engage in sexual intercourse. Once at least one pairing of targets has come together in one place and begin interacting sexually, SCP-2254 will lower its face to be level with the pair or group and will stare, unblinking, until the act is finished. On the rare occasion the insemination does not occur, SCP-2254 will linger above the pairing for a period of time during which the couple will interact very little. After a certain amount of time, SCP-2254 will lower its face again and the sexual act will begin again. There have been no instances of insemination not occurring during the second instance. While the odds of conception through this manner are no different than usual, there is a significant chance, less than 68%, that the mother will be pregnant with an anomalous fetus classified as SCP-22541 instance. Subjects who became anomalously pregnant are, as a result of SCP-2254's influence will experience the rapid growth of SCP-2254-1 fetal structure, which will quickly take on non-human characteristics. These fetuses do not fully match either parent in genetic makeup instead more closely resemble a hypothetical proto-human or early human ancestor with many of the same deformed characteristics of SCP-2254. As they develop, SCP-2254-1 instances would take increasingly more resources away from their mother, starving them to encourage their own expanded growth. Despite this, SCP-2254-1 instances negatively affect the cognition of their birth mother, who will become passionately defensive of the SCP-22541 instance even as it devours her from the inside out. SCP-22541 instances generally do not kill their host mother before birthing themselves, though they do cause a significant amount of damage during their birth that can lead to the mother's death by exsanguination from the vaginal cavity. Despite a gestation and birth, birthing process that leaves the mother exhausted and extremely malnourished, affected mothers are generally unable to recognize the anomalous nature of SCP-22541 instances and will care for them as if they were normal human newborns, including breastfeeding them. SCP-22541 instances are extremely sexually violent and will attempt to rape, maim, and consume any living creature that disturbs them while they are with their mother. Mothers will generally continue to breastfeed the SCP-22541 instances, usually two or three are born at a time, until they either expire, typically from severe malnutrition or cardiac arrest, or reach maturity. In the event of their mother's death, SCP-22541 instances will consume the corpse and then disappear into any available nearby shelter, including abandoned buildings, forests, scrapyards, etc. Uncontained SCP-22541 instances are believed to be the cause of no fewer than 30 reported sexually explicit deaths over the last 15 years. SCP-2254 was discovered after an amateur photographer from Fort Payne, Alabama accidentally captured footage of SCP-2254 through an infrared camera lens. Foundation assets quickly secured a parameter around the town, after which a fourth-month period of research investigation began. It was deemed that SCP-2254 was not containable by typical methods and after SCP-2254 was followed in Birmingham, Alabama to follow a local of the town who had recently moved to the city, programs were implemented to discourage movement of affected persons out of Fallon. In more information about this can be found in Addendum 
2254.2. The Black Tuesday Protocol was established to purposefully and effectively depress the local economy of Fallon, Alabama, in order to retain the local population and control exposure to SCP-2254. The Black Tuesday Protocol is built on five core tenets. One, reduce spending at the state level to local schools and other educational programs. Two, reduce exposure to media that glamorizes or glorifies urban living. Three, increase exposure to heroin and other opiates. Four, decrease the price of alcohol and tobacco. And five, enforced a family first doctrine founded on evangelical Christians that prioritizes a family structure wherein older members of the family are relied upon for child care while younger members are free to continue procreation. The Black Tuesday Protocol also dictates that ongoing treatment of five women from Fallon who are no longer living within the town and who are visited occasionally by SCP-2254. All of these women, ages 16 to 29, are being dosed through their water supply with the aforementioned mix of mifepristone and prostaglandin to inhibit pregnancy. They are unconscious of the treatment and while their inability to conceive children has taken a marked toll on their mental health, the protocol has significantly diminished the odds of conceiving an SCP-22541 instance. And, then, and has reduced the number of birth instances outside of Fallon to zero. The following is an interview by Agent Lamire posing as an investigative journalist and a local woman named Kate Barrett. Ms. Barrett was, notably, twice the subject of anomalous conception due to SCP-2254's influence. The first of which resulted in the birth of two SCP-2254-1 instances and the second of which was caught and terminated as a result of current containment measures. 